All right, guys, Dokkan time again, and today we're going to do the how to build for the newly easy um LR Golden Frieza in 17. So these guys are a little deceiving at first. They're a little deceiving um, on paper. They can be a little deceiving. So at first you're going to know. OK, well, hold on a second. here. Let me go get translations. Um, let me go get proper translations. Appreciate you, uh, Chucky, for popping this up in here because it's the only solid one I found. Um, but after Easy Yang, they have Universal Survival Saga and Joint Forces Key Plus 4 160. Um, they greatly raise attack for one turn on their 12 key. Their 18 key greatly lowers attack and defense and greatly raises their attack and defense. So there's no defense raise on the 12 key, which is unfortunate. Um... But they have attack and defense 177, key plus 7, and reduces damage received by 50% for the one turn from start of turn. So once again, this is one of those units where um, you ideally kind of want them maybe on like slot 7 slash turn 3 on first first appearance. Um, but otherwise, it just means they're super tanky the first turn that they pop up. The first turn. But... Uh, they do have launched two additional attacks, each of which has a 50% chance of becoming a super attack. That's really great. Um, they also launch an additional super and have a great chance of performing a crit when HP is 77% or below. Um, so your HP does have to be below on that to even get that guaranteed super, but that is super nice. Um, they have key plus 1 up to 7 and attack and defense plus 11% uh, up to 77 with each attack performed. Plus an additional key plus one up to five, and attack and defense plus 20% up to 100% with each super attack performed. And then chance of performing a critical hit plus 17% and reduces damage received by 17% within the same turn with each attack performed. So that's a crazy ability right there at the very end. Um, getting 17% damage reduction on a unit multitudes of times when it's already guaranteed to at least attack three times is pretty crazy because that means no matter what um they're gonna have 51 percent damage reduction um so literally if they triple attack which they will um like turn one they can have a hundred percent damage reduction on the first turn uh from anything after they super attack which is pretty crazy uh and then if it's like turn two, of course, then you only have 50% damage reduction. So three attacks would be about 50% damage reduction. A, a quad, uh, four attacks would be about, what, 60... I'm trying to math in my brain and I can't math. Like 68 or 69%. Like, it, it goes up quite a bit. So more additional is the primary way to go about this unit. Is You just want to go for the additional. Because as you can see, if you go through the list here, like, yes, they do have a pretty good ceiling um, around the uh, the buildup there. I mean, they're getting built up on super attacks and normal attacks. So every super attack, you're building up both the 11% and the 20%. But if you just get a normal, you're only building up the 11%. Um, <clears throat> but basically, the way I, I see it is, if you super five times and do at least two normals, then you will have... At, you will have have them, have them fully built up. Um, at which point, I think their average defense... Um, well, let's just go take a look at the average defense here. So, fully built up, uh, start a turn defense is going to be around 500. Okay. Which, honestly, isn't very much, unfortunately. If the, if the build up for the defense was higher, I would say they could be in slot 1. But, unfortunately, I cannot suggest them being in slot 1. Um, they are a slot two or three unit specifically. This is um, a not a support unit, but more of a tank unit. This unit can do damage. Don't get me wrong. This unit can do damage. Yes, it can. But because of that damage reduction, because of the lack of partners per se, and the lack of categories that this unit has all in general, um, I just I cannot suggest enough that you need to just kind of keep them in slot two or three, float them, um, slot two, because let's just face it, Reps of Universe 7 is like loaded. Reps of Universe 7 is a loaded category where you're just doing loads of damage all the time. 
So it's it's not really something to really think about on that. Um, oh, that's my baby. Uh, so let's just watch this clip here I have of them. Um, yes, this is on a private server. We'll do what you will with that. But um, this is a pro this is a hundred percent you know, uh, two hundred percent lead, uh, f full, um, one hundred percent rainbow build. So. I just would say they just need to keep attacking and attacking. Just build up that additional so that they can attack more. Because the more they build up, the higher that damage is going to go. They have the built-in crit. I don't see a reason to give them crit when Reps of Universe 7 just has an absurd amount of uh, freaking crit buildup from allies all over the place. I just I do not see the purpose in it. I, re I really don't. Um... I would say that you should just always be, it, it, it just should be additional. Additional or dodge. It's entirely up to you, of course. You don't have to give them dodge. You don't have to go for a full dodge build. I would say that you can, but you don't need to. Um, I, I think if you want to use this unit for what they are good at, which is tanking and then doing a surprisingly well amount of damage towards the end of their full buildup, I would do it. Uh, the best partner is definitely the Team uh, Universe 7 Unit 17 as 100% their uh, their favorite partner. The problem is, is both of those units are slot 2 or 3 units. Team Universe 7 does a crap ton of damage. They, they That unit does a crap ton of damage, but is limited to doing 1 or 2 attacks, and then um, it's just unlikely you'll see a, tr a third. It's very unlikely you'll even see a second one in normal fights nowadays. Um, but yeah, with the great partner, um, I, I would definitely say that Golden Frieza and 17 are very good. They can do very well together. Um, but yeah, they're a slot two unit. As you can see, 21 million damage on their 18 key super. Um, and then I'm, this unit can, what, quad super? Penta super even? With hidden potential? So... You can get that damage reduction up so high. You have built-in uh, crit. You have support from allies. Um, all on Team Universe 7. The only thing that sucks about this unit, I, ha I have to say. The real thing that sucks about this unit. Is that it's an extreme unit. <laughs> it's an extreme unit, so therefore it does not get the... Um, Ultra Instinct Tanabata Goku's um, domain effect. So he doesn't bet this unit doesn't benefit from Ultra Instinct Goku's domain. Um, so that that is unfortunate. Um, and as you can see here, when we have type advantage, um, Golden Frieza 17 can tank. I mean that that right there was like a 1.3 million super. Normally they wouldn't survive that at all post super or pre super. They just wouldn't. Um, but because they have type advantage. Uh, they they took it beautifully, really. Um, so I mean, they're they're perfectly fine with that. This is like turn ten too. So I mean, they're they're built up. Um, they, they they do very well. They do very well. I, I they do very good damage. I would say. I would say they do very good damage. They tank extremely well. Um, if wait a minute here, I'm gonna show you when they can really tank. Um, but they're they're very good. They're very good. They're very good. Uh, but yeah, additional is my primary choice for builds. If you got a 55%, try to just get him up to level 12. That would be your uh, best bet. Level 12 is a 24% chance to additional. But the fact that he can already have, he already has built in additionals, I, I don't see the issue of getting that hidden potential proc going off. I, I think it could go off very, very often, even for a 55%. Now, your, your, your mileage will be all over the place when it comes to to a 55% build, um, but that doesn't mean that they won't do good. They won't, they will still tank very well. Um, here's a nice little clip right here. Oh yeah, there we go. 
が足止めに随分と全力を出されたようですねもし俺が失敗してもお前がいればあとは大丈夫だと思ったからな<笑>信頼していただけて光栄ですよ So, yeah, they're sitting right there about 900k defense right there. 900k. They still took a 55% normal, or a 55k normal. So, here's the first super attack. Here's the second attack. We got 12 million attacks that right there. They're doing loads of good damage here, by the way. Triple super. Went up to good 2 million damage from that, too. You, you gotta realize, they greatly raise on their super, so their, their damage can go up quite a bit. Unfortunately, they couldn't kill Broly, but that's okay. Because 3 million super attack damage right here. Not even a thing, man. <laughs> the fact that they can take a 3 million super attack, the fact that they can tank 3 million super should be more than enough to tell you that this is a fantastic easy A, that it's very good, um, and that you should respect it. Um, I w Once again, just to summarize everything, full additional is my choice. Um, just put the rest of it into dodge, though. There's no reason to give them crit. Um, you could go with a defense equip as the bronze if you have two dupes. Uh, but if you're at 55%, just give that bronze a uh, two, level 2 additional. As far as partners go, um, the universe team 7 is the best partner. Your leaders are UI Gokus and um, 17 and 18 uh, tournament participant leader. The thing about this unit and for the universe 7... Uh, 17 is that they just want to be on reps of universe 7 and that's it um i don't really feel like they really belong on any other team that's where all of their links are really going off that's where they can excel the most um that's part of where their passives and their kit leads them uh but that that's just my suggestion so if you disagree you know it's fine i respect it just let me know what build choice you're gonna go with why? What team you're going to run them on? And then let me know how it goes. So, anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Have a good day and a good night.